video. Today I want to be talking about the Wii U this year. The Wii U in 2016. Um, so just before we get into 2016, let's just have a quick recap of 2015. In 2015 I loved the Wii U. I really really got into the Wii U. So many awesome games came out. For example Splatoon came out, um, Yoshi's Woolly World, I think maybe Kirby Paintbrush or maybe that came out the year before. And it's called Kirby Play Clay. Kirby Kit Paintbrush is the 3DS one. Um, but either way, there was a whole load of, of great games that came out that I was really loving. There's always one I was looking forward to and something I wanted to be picking up. And I was very excited about the Wii U. And then at the end of 2015, I did get a PlayStation 4. I started playing the PlayStation 4 and I was really enjoying that, but I was still playing the Wii U. And then for some reason, this year, 2016, there was hardly anything released for the Wii U. And I thought, hmm, okay. So, so far, it is October now. I picked up one new release game for the Wii U in the whole 2016, and that was Mario and Sonic um, at the Rio Olympics. I was like, Mario and Sonic, because there's, so, there's quite a few, but yeah, it was obviously the Rio one from this year. And I enjoy that, it's fun, I like it, it's a good game, um, and I'm glad I picked it up. But that's the only one, and it's an Olympic game, so it's kind of in a series, it's nothing new, nothing, you know, it's not a new idea. Um, and so, hmm. Like I said, I enjoy the game, but it's not. it doesn't keep me going back and back and back to that system, so I've hardly played the Wii U this year. Now, a couple of other mentions for the Wii U 2016. Zelda Twilight Princess, the HD remastered version, came out this year as well. Um, now, that is one that I do want to pick up. I don't actually own the Wii version, but interestingly, again, the Wii version you can play on the Wii U, because all the Wii games you can play on the Wii U. So that was kind of a game we already could have played, but obviously it's a remaster, and I'm not against remasters. Uh, I do enjoy remastered games, so that's fine. But again, it's not anything quite fresh and new, it's a remaster. Uh, but that is one that I do want to pick up, so I do actually want to get that game and want to play through that. Um, because obviously next year, I presume, is going to be the Wii U's last year, or maybe this year's, it's real last year. Because again, they've just brought nothing out for it, so I think it, they've, they've, they've done themselves worse off, maybe. I feel, I feel like the Wii U is just really, it, was, it wasn't ever doing the best. <laughs> We've all got to admit it wasn't doing the best, but in 2015 I thought, you know what, the Wii U, I love it, it's picking up, it's doing, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. And then it just kind of fell right down for me, right to the bottom. Um, anyway, so Zelda Twilight Princess is one that I, I'm interested in and still want to pick up for the Wii U. Um, also this year we had Star Fox Zero. Um, again, that wasn't something I was personally interested in, but I suppose, even though obviously I know it's not a new idea, it's not a new game, it is a franchise, but I believe there hasn't been one for a really long time. Um, so, it, you know, it kind of was a bit fresh and new, especially to that Wii U system. Um, there's not a Star Fox game on the Wii U at the moment, so that was kind of new to the Wii U, whereas obviously the Olympics, there was already a, the Winter Olympic one on the Wii U. Um, so, yeah, Star Fox Zero, great for people who enjoy Star Fox. I was maybe contemplating picking it up, but I heard mixed reviews. Um, so if you played it, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. But I heard kind of mixed things, and I kind of looked into it and thought, mm, I don't think it'll be something for me. Um, when I play, for example, Ratchet and Clank, there's some kind of space spaceship driving in that, and I'm terrible at flying that spaceship. It's it's never been my strong point at flying a ship, so I probably won't be very good at Star Fox Zero. Um, now I'm just going to take a look at my notes to see if there's anything else I've put down. Um, no. So, from my knowledge, obviously I know there's probably smaller games or some indie games, especially games on the downloadable shop. I know that they did come out with these games which had like a border on. Uh, it wasn't Nintendo Select, it was something else. I think it was games from the download shop that were on disc. I'm sure they came out of that this year. But as far as main games, there was Mario and Sonic at the Rio. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and Star Fox Zero. Those are the only three kind of big ones I can think of. And that's pretty poor for a whole year. Um, now, other games that also came out, of that, they're just, sorry, um, that console only. Wii U exclusives. Well, Nintendo exclusives, because obviously Rio came out on the 3DS. Now, other games to mention that did come out this year, but also on other platforms. We had Lego Star Wars. Obviously that came out on a whole bunch of systems, um, and I actually still don't own that, I do want to pick that up on the PS4, but I've been so into LEGO Dimensions, I haven't had much time to put into another LEGO game. We also had Mighty, Mighty No. 9, which I heard some pretty not too great things about, so I haven't picked that one up yet, but again, it's on a bunch of systems, so there's that one. And Darksiders, which was a re-release of the original Darksiders, I believe, which interestingly, it came out on PS4 and maybe Xbox, I'm not sure. But it also came out on Wii U. I thought that was really interesting. I thought I was really surprised by that. Um, yeah, so those are kind of some other games that came out this year. 
that were on the Wii U, but also on other systems. Now, we also have, I thought this game came out this year, I looked it up on Amazon, and apparently it didn't. Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, did that not come out this year on the Wii U? There's quite a few Sonic games on the Wii U, and obviously they are exclusive to the Wii U, but I, from what I googled, that didn't come out this year, but I thought it did. Oh, I just kind of felt like it was quite recent, so maybe that's, it was a long time ago, but I felt like it was kind of new, I don't know. Um, but yes, maybe it did, maybe it did. Who knows? Um, and then a game that's upcoming, it comes out actually tomorrow. So a game that comes out tomorrow is Paper Mario Colour Splash. Um, this looks interesting. This kind of reminds me of the one on the 3DS, Paper Mario Sticker Star, which wasn't my favourite. Um, I didn't enjoy it massively, but I've played the Wii one. I don't actually own the Wii one. I enjoyed that more than the uh, Sticker Star one. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm that excited about the... Uh, Paper Mario Colour Splash, but I am excited that it's a Mario game, kind of like a main Mario game this year come out, because that's the first one, is it? I believe, I'm sure it is. So that's kind of the games of this year, like I say, Paper Mario Colour Splash, I feel like I would have maybe been interested in, but now that I'm not as into the Wii U, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm not sure. I felt like the main thing the Wii U maybe did wrong was it didn't keep people's interest enough, it kind of just kind of died down completely. I, people kind of forgot about it and lost interest. Well, I personally think of people I spoke to, and me myself. Um, I just I was really I was really into it. I didn't hate it. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I really did. And then it just kind of there wasn't enough going on with it. Um, and so, for example, a game like I mentioned, I had it on the Wii U. I picked it up on the PlayStation Four. I moved it over to the console that I play more, and kind of left the Wii U on there. Um, so yeah, the Wii U of 2016 I think has had a very poor year. I know people generally think the Wii U didn't do well and wasn't a good console, but I think this year really didn't help it. I think they could have, I don't know, something, something that it was it was kind of lacking and missing. I know now they're bringing out a lot of the Wii U games on the 3DS just to kind of switch them over there, but I hope that the next Nintendo console does do a lot better. Because so obviously the Wii did brilliantly, and then the Wii U just kind of, it fell flat, but for me personally it only fell flat this year. I think last year I loved it, it was brilliant, a lot of great games came out and then this year it really kind of let itself down for me. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd put the idea out there in the discussion of the Wii U of 2016. Let me know down in the comments below, have you played any of the Wii U this year? Have you picked up any new games this year? Uh, maybe there's, there must be some games I haven't mentioned here that came out on the Wii U, but the, because there definitely must be, because I've only mentioned a few. But for me, when searching, there's not that many. I just can't find too many games, you know, when you look it up, so... I don't know. And I've not heard about that many, so maybe maybe there are a few more and people just aren't hearing about them, and that might not help as well. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Wii U this year. Let me know what you think is going to happen next year and with the next console. Uh, comment down below your thoughts, and I'll see you guys next time. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this discussion Wii U game video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, or if you are a newbie. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!